good good morning good morning and good morning family so i know this video is a bit early but i did say i had a good amount of things going on this is one of them this video will be uploaded at the beginning of the day that made no sense anyway i'm rambling so in this video as you can see in the title i am doing a 30 day weight loss challenge and i'm also challenging you to do the same with me um each week i will have new uploaded instructions and a video indicating what next steps to take now if you want to challenge yourself challenge yourself challenge yourself first of march is when i'm starting but i'm putting this up now so you can actually have it ready for tomorrow um and get up get up get up get up like push yourself all of this is is determination to be dead as look don't come at me for the pimple okay i've been doing a face cleanser and it's just purifying the skin so i'm getting all the nasties that's coming up so let's not go there with that but anyway <laughs> So our goal is to challenge ourselves to lose weight. I am pushing myself, honestly, to lose a significant amount of weight this month of March, which is tomorrow. Because like I said, this video will be aired before noon today, which is Thursday. Thursday. Today, oh my God. Today is the last day of February the last day of february so you have till tomorrow y'all tomorrow to get this started get all your fat eating junk janky drinking soda having candy snacking booty in today because tomorrow is the day to push yourself so let me stop rambling and get this video started because honestly this is going to be a long video i'm hoping to not go to 30 minutes but i have so much to show you and so much to talk about to start off your first week and i will have um on the screen monitor um linked the steps and just everything so let's let's get this started because there's so much to talk about yes you see me yes first things first is to understand that weight loss is a process i did indicate that i am trying to lose a significant amount of weight in general i am trying to lose a significant amount of weight as i said in my previous vlog um if you haven't i will put it in the i cards um of the uh, my big news vlog i am turning 40 on the 22nd of june i didn't specify the date but it is in june and it's the 22nd so i am wanting to change my life for myself in all remember you only want to lose weight to better your health and for you don't go losing weight because somebody feel like you're not big i mean you're too big excuse me or don't go putting on weight because somebody is like ew you too small you have to love you first that is the one and only reason now i love me i do but I do know that I have health issues with sleeping, breathing, and my weight is heavy on me. And I honestly just want to feel 
good and look good. I just, I want to be able to wear a half shirt and not feel like I got rolls, you know? But I'm doing this for me. I'm not in no relationship. I don't give two craps or one booty what people say and think about my size. I love me. However, it's hard um, to sleep. I'm going to be dead ass. It's so hard for me for my weight and diabetes, high blood pressure, and all that run in my family. So I'm doing this for my health. I will be 40. I need to make sure I am doing a transformation in my body and life for me and me only. That is your number one key. So let's get this started. First thing first, what you're going to need to utilize this is no money, no gym, no weights. I'm going to say it again. When I say no money, I mean you're not going to have to invest in a workout plan. I'm not charging anyone to go through this transformation with me this is to better you as it is to better me so why am i charging you to get your health and life in order no i know there's a lot of people out there doing these workout plans and you have to buy now shipping no boo boo if you're really about healthing helping health then do it on a YouTube for free to help people. Now, if people need one-on-one -on -one training, that's understandable. That is your time. But this is a journey that I'm willing to go with with you as my YouTube family. So, no gym. I honestly do not have the money or funds to sit here and invest in a gym. I have hella bills Hella bills, and I know y'all do too. So I have did a a a lot. I mean, I've researched and researched so many ways to get the most effective workout in very little time. I'm not going to go to nobody's goals gym. I'm not going to nobody's planet fitness. I'm not doing all that. And I'm not spending three, four plus hours in the damn gym. I got to work. I need to get this in early in the morning when I get up so I can give myself enough time to say, here, this is what I need to get myself work up. I mean, you know, this is the time I need to work out. That's all. That's all it is. Now, Step two, you're going to need some agua. If you don't know what that is, water. This is a 64-ounce um, container. My goal, because I do drink a lot of water, but my goal is to at least go through two of these. And it's not a lot, but considering I, I do love water, I just don't drink enough. I need to get back in routine of drinking water. So my goal is to drink at least minimally two of these a day. Um, if I can get two of these a day, plus I juice and I do drink coffee. I drink plain coffee. I'm doing good on my liquids. If I can get to two and a half to three, that's even better. But that is... All right, next thing, as you can see, yes, this is our friend. This is our friend. Do not be scared of the scale, okay? Just don't. Just just don't. This is your friend. What we want to do, and yes, I don't want to sit here and show you my weight because honestly, I need transformation. I don't give a crap. You can see how much I weigh, but what we're going to do is weigh ourselves at the beginning of each week. So we're going to step on this. I'm going to step on this now to start you out so you can see my weight. So you're not like, oh, I'm bull crap and this is what I weighed and blah, blah, blah. So as you can see, the scale is on zero. Let's step on it. All right, y'all. So that's about two. Oh, that's 230 exactly. So as you see, I am. So yeah, yes and yes, mama is 230. So let me show you how I'm dressing to do my morning workout. Okay, so before I get started, I wanted to show you what I look like in clothes. 
So I'm gonna turn this way. As you can see, Okay, so this is me. Yes, I do have stress marks. I had a child. This is my war pair, my war marks. So, as you can see me from the side, I'm not even holding nothing in. This is me as it is. Front again, and then side. So, these are the six workouts in week one that you're going to need. And I'm a, what I'm gonna do is post, um, either it's gonna be somewhere right here or somewhere right here, the week one workout and the week one um, high protein, low carb um, food regimen or food meal planning. So it's right here and I'll leave it up for a time frame just so you can see what is all um, needed. So let me start off with the first workout. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do in this workout is get hydrated. So I'm going to take hello, hello, one hello. hello. So the first thing we need to do is water hydration. Again, I have a 64 gallon. I'm not going to go through all of the exercises as um, you know, in time, I'm just going to show you what exactly is needed for week one and week week one. We'll worry about week one. Just drink. And now let's stretch. So you make sure you grab here and you're going to stretch it out. You're gonna stretch now. You're gonna do your stretch for two minutes, the full stretch, and then you're gonna do the other end. Now, I take it behind. Now, again, I'm not doing the full two minutes, I'm just showing you what you need to do for your stretch. Make sure you do a total of two minutes in stretching. Time. And we're gonna make sure we stretch all the way down. Okay. All the way back. And let me show you on the side angle. As far back as you can take it. If you can go far, go far. If not, do it as far as you can. And then we're gonna do our leg. I'm gonna slide back, put our leg up, do it this way so you can see. Leg up like this, and lean. Press down on this leg. What you're doing is you're stretching out your calves here, and you're gonna do the same with the other leg. After you do that, you're going to hold on to the wall and you're going to do the same. You're going to take that and you can bring that with the opposite leg up. And you're going to do the same with the other leg. Okay. All right. So first exercise, it's called knee lift. I will have it titled here. Basically, all you're doing is you're holding your hand here and you're lifting your knee. And it's gonna be hard to see, so we will do it this way. Knee lift. Try to get your knee up to your waist. Knee lift. And you can just do this. It seems stupid, it seems easy, whatever you might think. Just do it, keep doing it. Rotate, don't go like this, no. Rotate them out. Do three minutes of knee lifts. That's it. Then we're going to do squats. Now squats can be a little bit tricky. So you want to make sure your squats are where you can handle. Starting out, for me, I haven't done it in a while. I'm going to open my legs. I'm going to show you. Open my legs. Knee lift apart. I'm going to do it this way. And you're gonna squat down and up. Go as far down as you can. 
Make sure your back is straight and you down. We're gonna do lean and rest. Lean and rest can be done in so many ways. So lean and rest is a push-up mode. If you can't do a full push-up mode, then I want you to do it this way and lean. But try to do it this way. One minute of that. And the lean and rest, you're gonna feel it here and here. If you can't, remember, if you can't do a full push-up mode, put your knees down and do it with your knees down. Same way, but you do one minute of that. You've done your three, your two, and your one. We are gonna take a two minute break. In this two minute break, water. Hydration is the key. I'm gonna say we had our two minutes of water. Once you do two minutes of water, then you're gonna go back to three, two, and one. So the key is three, two, one, three, two, one. This next three minutes, we're gonna do sprinting in place. You are trying to build up your heart weight. So you're gonna just jog really fast to what you can do with in place, like this, really fast. And then two, we're gonna do crunches. Two minutes of that. Yes, this is a little all over the place, but I'm honestly just giving you the gist of what your week one and week two exercise is gonna be. Now, one minute. We're gonna do one minute of arm rotation. Simple. So I'm gonna face this way, hold my arms out, they're gonna be like this, and we wanna rotate. When you do it, you want to make sure you squeeze your shoulders in tight and you rotate. Rotate them. Rotate it. Rotate it forward and backwards. When you go back, I want you to squeeze. You see how I'm going back and I'll show you. I want you to try to have your shoulder blades, try to have them kiss while you're rotating. What you're doing is you're getting rid of that. You see that lovely jiggle? You're getting rid of that jiggle. And you're working on that bat fat. So yes, that's your exercise. Once you do that, we're back to two minutes of stretching and water break. Total of 20 minutes of a workout. 20 minutes for week one only. Okay, so we're gonna recap. 20 minutes workout. Week one, very easy, very high um, in heart rate. Um, I don't know, my words are like all over the place. Week one, you're gonna only do 20 minutes every morning. So you need to set your alarm clock for 30 minutes in the morning for week one only. What you're doing is you're basically just recapping or re or getting your body used to a routine, getting your body used to a workout plan. That's all you're doing. First thing you're going to do when you start your exercise is you're going to drink some water. Don't forget, water, water, water. What you're doing is you're maintaining hydration and you're getting your body used to water. The water is going to clean you. And I know it sounds like a broken record, but I'm being dead honest. Water will hydrate the soul. <laughs> then you're going to do your stretching. I showed you the stretch that I'm going to do. I did the arms. I did the legs. I did the stomach, the back, because you're going to work your whole body without even knowing. So you want to make sure almost every muscle to almost all muscles have been properly stretched. Give yourself two minutes. Take your time. Enjoy your stretch. Make sure you're breathing in and you're breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Now, we've covered two, water and stretching. Then we're going to go into three minutes of knee 
high knee lift. I say high knee lift because you want to make sure you can at least get your knee elevated to your belly button. Get your lazy legs up. And you have two minutes of squats, slow squats. You don't have to go fast with, you don't have to go low. Just start off medium to small amount of squats. One one minute of lean and rest. I love lean and rest because honestly, you can feel lean and rest everywhere. You can feel it in your arms, your chest, your stomach, your legs, your butt. One full minute. If you're not used to doing push-ups, put your knees down and still hold the push-up mode as if you were about to do a push-up. Get back up. Do your two minute water break. Now, we're gonna do three minutes of heart elevation. That's sprinting in place. I say sprint, but that's your goal. So run in place. Try to go as fast as you can in place for three minutes. Time yourself. Now, we're on number two, which is two minutes of crunches. Go in, slow back, slow up. Two minutes, that's all I'm saying. Just give me two minutes and then one arm rotation just get that flap you know what i'm saying get that flap flap it in go forward go backwards try to kiss your shoulder blades so you can get your back muscles strength and stronger so we can lose the fat we don't want to be jailing no more nope but that's that that's the full week workout once you finish that i want you to go back in and do two minutes of stretching do the stretches you started with and then do one minute of water break. All right, y'all. I know that was I know that was so weird, but honestly, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. It's not hard. I it's not hard. I literally have to push myself the last workout I think I did was at Planet Fitness. I had a membership with my mother. No joke. I had a membership. I was doing good for some months and then I just slacked off. And I noticed when I was going, I was doing, you know, I was doing well, but I noticed in time it was like, it, it became a burden because I was seeing myself spending like two hours, two and a half, three hours at the gym. And I was like, damn, I go in gym, I have to change my clothes and I put in another two to three hours working out. Then I'm taking my shower, getting dressed and then going about my work day. That's almost four hours of my work day gone. I don't, I don't have that kind of time. And I noticed I couldn't put that much time in my workout because of my life. I'm a hairstylist and then I work a part-time job. So that's money that I'm missing. What can I do to better myself and not feel like, gosh, I'm losing so much time to put energy and look and, and losing weight for health and for personal reasons. Why? So I researched what exercises are valuable for me in less amount of time now i'm not saying week two is going to be the same as week one because now we're going up a level we're in week two so we're going to push our body another way do a teaspoon of the apple cider cider vinegar and then i'll do a shot of water and i'll pour that and i'll drink it all i'm doing is just basically getting my heart ready it's supposed to cleanse your system i'm trying to see what it's about because a lot of people are like try the apple cider thing so i'm trying it but if you can't do the apple cider do um vinegar if you can't do vinegar then do um lemon juice pure lemon juice try I'm thinking is the acidity is supposed to help burn the fat but i don't know but i'm gonna try it starting tomorrow so do that before you get your workout in once you do that then follow my food regimen which is here um, again, it's going to be posted on either sides. After I do my full exercise, I'm going to make a smoothie with high and um, uh, um, ox. Uh, what is it? Antioxidants. Um, high antioxidants. You can do berries, strawberries, mangoes, all that grinding. Um, I let me explain to you what I do. I make that in the morning. I put in a refrigerator while I'm doing my exercise. Then it's getting cold. After I finish my exercise, I will have a bagel and I will have like two boiled eggs, some avocado. I'm eating all protein, all protein, y'all. 
Hammer that shit down with protein because what you want to do is you want to try to finish half your water for breakfast. Eat as much protein as you want for breakfast but one bagel. Plain bagel. I am going to put avocado on it because I'm not putting no butter, I'm not putting no jam, no cottage, no cream cheese, no nothing. But I'm going to put avocado. I'm going to break up some avocado and just spread it on there with some eggs. That's going to be it. I might grab down some meat, eat up some meat. You want high proteins. I'm sorry, for lunch, you're going to have that smoothie. Hit that smoothie up and have high proteins and high vegetables. Just smoothie, meat vegetables that's your lunch you can throughout that day eat that you can just if you're getting hungry just keep eating protein keep eating but for your main lunch your main drink you want to make sure you have your smoothie and then high protein high salads no other vegetable no other i'm um, not high salads but high vegetables no other fruits you're having it in your smoothie and then for dinner high meat and high vegetables, no carbs. Your carb is once a day. That is for breakfast. You're training your body. I know this is a bit hard, and I know I'm going to get some people to come at me wrong, but what we're doing is we're pushing our body. We're breaking our own body down to build it up, and you have to train it. So in order to train it, this is what you have to do. But anyway, I've rambled a lot. Again, I will have all of um, this information in the description and I do have it still linked so y'all can see it throughout you can write it down do whatever please take a screenshot of it or copy it off of my description until then the next video will be posted um uh when would I post this because this is going to go through week one which is Thursday tomorrow's Thursday no tomorrow's Friday Wow, so we're going to start the first, and then day seven is we're going to do the next one. So I'm going to post day um, week two video on day number six so I can prepare you for day number seven. And then I'll see you then. Um, as always, if you're not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you do like this, don't forget to give me some thumbs up and share. And of course, as you know, I can't really get your comments. So I do have my social media linked below in the description box. So don't forget to hit me up there. Let me know how your week one journey is coming about. And let me know if you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling a little different. Um, I'm going to also let you know if you want to send me a photo of your before picture, your weight, do that. I've already displayed my, my, my uh, loveliness. Do the same. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. I love you all. Stay blessed. Peace.